One of my favorite things to decorate every year is my mantle. And one of my number one tips to make your mantle look full and complete is to add in different layers. I'm first going to start by adding in two greenery pieces. Now this greenery, I absolutely love. It's from Amazon. And I actually showed this greenery piece in one of my Amazon live streams. Now, if you're not following me on my second channel, Liz from McDaily, you definitely wanna go check it out and subscribe because I post several of my live streams where I talk about my favorite Amazon products all the time. But I'm gonna add these two greenery pieces to my mantle. To add them on there, I have these new hooks that I'm trying out this year that I think work awesome. They're command hooks that actually wrap around and hold the item in place. They're actually made for um, holding cords together, but I think they're gonna be great to really hold my greenery in place. I take a lot of time to really make sure that the greenery is even and that it's hooked and secured in place. Next, I'm going to add in two greenery stems from Hobby Lobby. They're ones that I've had from previous years. I'm gonna put those in the middle to add a little bit more fullness. Now, I don't think I've ever had a mantle where I haven't used at least two different garlands. It just adds in more texture. It makes it look more full. So I had this other one in my stash and I'm gonna add that to the top area. And one of the keys is you really wanna to try to mix the greenery together so it looks very cohesive. Next, I'm gonna add in some texture and color. So I had these picks that I believe were from Walmart and I'm gonna start placing them evenly throughout my greenery. I'm also going to add in some pine cone picks. I love adding pine cones. I feel like they're just such a natural element that provides a lot of texture. Now putting together a mantle is fun because you can keep adding elements and step back, look at it and see what needs to be added. No matter your color scheme or style, you can use some of these basic elements to get started with creating your mantle. I wanted to add in these vintage ornaments that I had from Amazon as well. You guys, any product I'm talking about, I will link down for you in the description box. But when I added on the bells, they looked a little bit too low, but that was no problem. I just went back in and put them up a little bit higher on the greenery. So they were just a little accent underneath my greenery. And this is how it turned out. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make a peppermint bowl. This is so cool. So what you're going to need is a bag of peppermints and you're gonna preheat your oven to 275 degrees. Next, get out any cookie sheet and some parchment paper. Lay your parchment paper down flat. Then you're gonna put one peppermint in the center of your tray. Put that in the oven for about one to two minutes. Pull it out and then you're going to add peppermints in a circle around that center peppermint that you just put down. You're going to add about six and you wanna make sure they're all touching together. Put it back in the oven for another couple of minutes. Pull it out and then you're going to do the exact same thing. You're gonna create another layer. This time you're gonna add about 12 peppermints around your six that you put in, trying to make sure they touch as well. Put it back in your oven for three or four minutes. You want it to start melting. And then you're gonna pull it back out and you're gonna add your final layer to the outside making sure again that they're all touching. Then you wanna put it back in your oven for about five to seven minutes. You wanna make sure that the peppermints are melted and you don't see any gaps in your bowl. Pull your peppermints out after it's had five to seven minutes in the oven. Let it cool for about a minute. Then you're going to get a bowl or anything that you want to create a shape out of. You're gonna spray the back of it with cooking spray and spray it really well. Then you're going to flip the peppermint bowl onto the bowl that you're forming it around. And then you're going to pull off the parchment paper. Now, if you can't get all the parchment paper off, just cut it off and get as much as you can. You're gonna form your peppermints around your bowl. And I would let this cool completely. It really doesn't take that long, maybe 20, 30 minutes. Then you can pull your bowl out and then just use a paper towel or towel to wipe off the cooking spray in the middle of your bowl. You can style it with your favorite candy for the holidays.
So update, if you leave this on your countertop and your kids knock water bottles on them, it's going to break. So I actually made a second one that I could style and show you guys. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.